Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm going to share with you how I have organized and stored my makeup. And initially, I was going to do a declutter in this video as well, but I will do that in a separate video. So this video, I'm just going to focus on how I have stored and how I have uh, organized my entire makeup collection. So let's get started. So this is the main cabinet where I store my makeup. This is pretty new in my collection earlier i used to have a separate drawer which i have shown in a previous video so recently i have got this one from ikea this is one of the alex drawers i think this alex drawers are really functional and i like white colors so i got this and presently all of my makeup is stored in over here here we are on the top of the cabinet where i have two drawers here so these are uh, random this uh, top one is from a random store not branded or anything this one is from muji so this is one single drawer set from muji very very high quality in this particular one i keep all of my like small single eyeshadows so anything small six pan nine pan i usually keep my huda palettes over here and viseart palettes anything like basically the smaller eyeshadow palettes i usually keep here and on top i have this uh, compartment this has two drawers uh, which are bigger in size so in the first drawer i keep all of my colourpop supernova shadows and one like random liquid liquid uh, eyeshadows over here because many times when i'm going out i usually uh, reach for this liquid eyeshadows or this mini eyeshadows for quick looks so that's why they are here and in the top one there are the stila uh, liquid eyeshadows so I have this uh, bigger Stila ones and then a mini Stila. I also have a cover FX and one a uh, few Kiko eyeshadows. So this uh, basically whole area is for eyeshadows. On top there are two smaller compartments. This one has uh, some glitter eyeshadows. These are not glitter. These are uh, pot, the Tarte Pot eyeshadows, chrome paint. And this is Marc Jacobs sequence. And this one is the Hourglass. And here also I have single eyeshadows. This one has Colourpop and few Australis and one Catrice one. So all the basic eyeshadows which I just use on the go are over here. Now behind, I'll just move the camera around here. Now behind I have another container. Now this one is a DIY drawer which I had made. Now I don't need that drawer right now because I have purchased this bigger cabinet. So I'm using that drawer to store all of my bigger eyeshadows so i have my juvis place then violet boss cat von d uh juvis place morphe jacqueline hill all the bigger palettes so i basically made it lie down backside down so that the compartments are on top and i've taken out the drawers and those drawers are inside my cabinet i'll show you so i've just reused my diy project to hold this eyeshadow palettes now uh, i have that diy project on my channel so i will link that in the description box if you guys are interested okay now let's look at the cabinet how i organized and maybe you'll get some idea as well now this first drawer is only for people who are bloggers or youtubers now this is all of my new products or products which are uh, like which for which i'm planning videos so all the new things or video related things or blog related things which i'm working on currently are stored over here this one is not very organized it's just a random stuff thrown in now these drawers they don't have a lot of height so it's perfect for like small things or smaller trays the next one is also of the similar height in this one i have kept all of my eyeliner stuff so this one has colored eyeliners this one has liquid eyeliners this one has mascaras and this one has some random stuff some glitter eyeliners uh inglot duraline gel this one has a lot of mascaras which i have currently this one has colored eyeliners now this drawer i have kept up because uh Eyeliners and mascaras are something which I reach for a regular basis. So it, I think it makes sense to have it over here. Same goes for the liquid liners. Now inside I also have a smaller tray where I have kept uh, some of my beauty blenders. Now here is this a uh, tray which goes very very nicely inside the drawer. The height of it is perfect. And this one is from Japan Home. And these smaller containers are also from Japan Home. I think the height of these containers are really good. They fit very well in this IKEA drawers. Now the next drawer onwards, I start my makeup. So first of all, this one is a box of 
uh, this is one of the boxes which was there in that DIY project this is a random color pop box which I have covered up and I was using it as a drawer for uh, for uh, that uh, DIY drawer so this one also actually fits really nicely in this drawers the color pop boxes they look very big but somehow they really fit in inside very nicely so I have just put it inside here and I have kept all of my bronzers here uh, so I have all the bronzers which I have are stuck over here somehow they have lost their stacking I had kept them stacked but anyways you get the idea so this is all the bronzers now this one is a Sunday Riley gift box so I had got a skincare kit and this one came with it and this one also fits really really nicely inside here and this is a really sturdy box so I'm going to use it somehow so I've just kept it here look how nicely they fit and I'm going to keep the lid of this one as well and I'll keep something uh, here uh, for which I don't have a space right now. So this is empty right now. And behind I have my bronzing palettes. So I have the NYX bronzing palette, then uh, LA Girl one, then uh, Makeup Revolution, what is this, Faces and Sugar, then the Balm face palette. So the Balm face palette is here because I usually use the bronzer from here and the blush. So I just kept it here. And here I have another box, a smaller one. And in this uh, container, I have kept all of my BB creams. So I have my Tarte, it, it Cosmetics, Color Bar, some BB creams which I use on a regular basis. So that's for this drawer. Next drawer, I have all of my, my blushes. So for blushes also, I'll show you this. This is a box which came with one of the holiday sets. I think it was Sol de Janeiro, if I'm not wrong. The gift box or the skincare set which I had purchased uh, this box came with it and it's a really really pretty box I and it's like it's very functional to keep it in here you don't have to invest in uh, separate boxes or separate containers you can just use whatever you have at your home so I personally don't like to spend too much on these containers I try to use whatever I have at home and this one fits very nicely in here so this is my blush drawer all the blushes here palettes are here tart then some blushes like this color wet and wild one somehow it broke yesterday so i've just kept it flat here some blushes are still lying over here then i have more blush palettes inside nars uh, nyx zoeva stila i have a lot of blushes guys i just love blush palettes so much uh, sleek some freedom ones zoeva and the jue one so all the blush related things are over here i will be doing a blush declutter but i will do it in a different video because there are a few blushes which i don't use anymore so that's the blush uh, drawer okay next we have my highlighter drawer and here also i have the same box the sol de janeiro box one is the cover of the box so uh, uh, both the sides have gone into drawers so all of my highlighters are stored here very nicely stacked i love these drawers because they have just stacked so well the blushes and the highlighters so these are my single highlighters and then uh, all the palettes are back here uh, this is the afterglow from over decay then there's one makeup revolution then one color pop one which i still need to fix then anastasia glow kit a balm and hourglass so those are only the highlighter palettes I have and here I have this Colourpop box which I have reused again and I have the liquid highlighters over here. So this Colourpop box is also really sturdy. It has a nice mirror as well. So that's why I have kept it. So this is my highlighter drawer. So these were all the uh, drawers which have low height. Next we have the bigger drawers. So here I have all of my uh, other like base foundation and stuff like that so next uh, drawer has all of my foundations it's a little bit like half hazard right now but it's working i know what is where but i will try to get this a little bit more organized but it's more or less organized because i have two drawers here i mean two boxes here these are the drawers from that my diy uh drawer so i have just kept them inside here so this uh, container has the foundations uh foundations which don't stack up and stick foundations and uh, basically all the foundations this uh, drawer has all of my primers so any kind of primer is over here then i have this tray right here which is from japan home as well 
it's a like a narrow slender tray where I have made all of my foundations stand so the foundations which are lower in height they are standing over here and behind I have one concealer drawer where I have all of my concealers now usually I will take out the makeup which I need for the week so it's working fine I don't really open this drawer all the time so that's great uh, the next drawer which I have here has all of my cream or uh, cream lipsticks rather cream lipsticks crayons and I also have my powders here because I don't have a space for the powders I have not been able to figure out so my powders are over there at the back and I think it's working fine usually as I said for the week I will take out the powder which I want so this is more of a storage space and here you can see this lipsticks now this is a lipstick container which I have put inside uh, this was bought from a random store this is a lipstick container so uh, this side is doesn't have those slots but this side has those lipstick slots but basically I'm just using the entire thing as a lipstick container and this one has those lipstick slots so many of my cream lipsticks especially the lipsticks which I don't wear on a regular basis, basis which are darker are over here now these boxes this box is also really cute this one is also from last year's holiday collection I got something last year so I've kept that I've saved that box and this one has all of my lip liners and inside there are a few boxes or containers which has my lip crayons so any lip related stuff are over here okay and the last two drawers are eyeshadow palettes so, so the first drawer has more of the recent ones which I have purchased and I'm still trying so the newer ones uh, which I have purchased this year or uh, end of last year are over here and all of the palettes have stacked really nicely in these drawers and the below drawer is also for palettes these are more like my uh, older palettes so some of the ABH palettes, Zoeva palettes, Too Faced, uh, Tarte all of these eyeshadow palettes are over here now these these two palette, uh, drawers have palettes which I really really use and I want to keep my eyeshadow palette collection just this much I don't want to have too many palettes I just want to stick to uh, two drawers I hope I'm able to uh, achieve that I don't uh, like if the palette collection grows then I will obviously discard some of the palettes but I want to keep the palette collection to these two drawers so this is how I have stored my makeup in this cabinet right here now I will show you another area of my uh, makeup room like this area over there let's go over there so I'm talking about this area which you usually see in the videos this is the uh, like a stand which I have got from Ikea very reasonably priced and I have some things here as well so just let's take a closer quick look okay on the top shelf I have this tray now this one I still need to organize but basically it's a tray where you can keep a lot of things currently I'm just using it for my eyebrow pencils which is right back over here and my lipsticks now these lipsticks are usually the nude lipsticks or the neutral lipsticks which I use on a day to day basis so all of those kind of lipsticks are over here then behind there is just decoration nothing much uh, if you come down there is a jar where I've kept all of my Colourpop lipsticks these are also something which I use on a regular basis now here is another box in here where I keep uh, things which I want to give away or something which I don't really need right now I want to give away all those products are in here and if we come to the lowest compartment right here I have a few things here like this uh, bag here it contains all of my Colourpop palettes and this box which is right here contains many of the drugstore palettes which I don't really use that much so I have just kept them here probably I'm going to give them away very soon so this box contains all of such drugstore palettes some of my drugstore palettes which I use are there in the uh, cabinet there but some of them which I don't really use are over here and this is the drawer which is the most important thing over here it stores all of my liquid lipsticks so the first drawer contains all of my glosses uh, any kind of gloss is over here so as you can see I am not a gloss person but I do have a lot of glosses let's move a little bit closer so here you can see I have a lot of glosses uh, Huda Beauty, Demi Mattes, then L'Oreal, Tarte, 
uh, balm, NYX, some uh, drugstore ones. Then in this drawer, I have all of my high-end liquid lipsticks. I did a liquid lipstick declutter video where I have shown this in much detail and I have uh, shown you which products are here. So I will link that in the description box if you are interested in a liquid lipstick declutter and which are products are here. So this one contains all of my high-end ones. And in the bottom drawer, I have all of my drugstore or the affordable ones. So this is where I keep all of my liquid lipsticks. Yes, and one more thing which I wanted to show you is right here in between, I usually keep this tray. Not a tray exactly, it's more of a rack. So it looks something like this. So in this rack, there are two compartments. It was a bigger four compartment a rack so four tier rack and it's usually for baby items and stuff but now my children are grown up so i use it i have uh, removed the two i'm using two and my daughters have two so in my first rack i have kept all of my brushes and the cleaner my micellar water moisturizer uh, q-tips tissues cotton pads and in the second rack i have all my nail paints and nail related stuff so i think this particular thing is coming very handy these days because whenever i film i just uh, this has uh, like wheels so i just push it across and take it to the area where i film and i can just put it uh, bring it back right over here so this is something which i've done recently and i'm really loving this arrangement and uh, i think that's about it that's all i wanted to share that's how i have organized everything in my filming room where i have all of my makeup so i hope this was helpful to you if you liked it please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you're watching me for the first time i really hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel thanks so much for watching i will see you again really soon in my next video bye